The Lord sends food from heaven. On the fifteenth day of the second month after the Israelites had escaped from Egypt, they left Elim and started through the western edge of the Sinai Desert, in the direction of Mount Sinai. There in the desert they started complaining to Moses and Aaron, We wish the Lord had killed us in Egypt. When we lived there we could at least sit down and eat all the bread and meat we wanted. But you have brought us out here into this desert where we are going to starve. The Lord said to Moses, I will send bread down from heaven like rain. Each day the people can go out and gather only enough for that day. That's how I will see if they obey me. But on the sixth day of each week they must gather and cook twice as much. Moses and Aaron told the people, This evening you will know that the Lord was the one who rescued you from Egypt, and in the morning you will see his glorious power, because he has heard your complaints against him. Why should you grumble to us? Who are we? Then Moses continued, You will know it is the Lord when he gives you meat each evening and more than enough bread each morning. He is really the only one you are complaining about, not us. We are nobodies. But the Lord has heard your complaints. Moses turned to Aaron and said, Bring the people together because the Lord has heard their complaints. Aaron was speaking to them when everyone looked out towards the desert and saw the bright glory of the Lord in the cloud. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard my people complain. Now tell them that each evening they will have meat, and each morning they will have more than enough bread. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God. That evening a lot of quails came and landed everywhere in the camp, and the next morning dew covered the ground. After the dew had gone, the desert was covered with thin flakes that looked like frost. The people had never seen anything like this, and they started to ask each other, What is it? Moses answered, This is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat, and he orders you to gather about two litres for each person in your family. That should be more than enough. <laughs>